well and so so today i'm doing another harry potter collection i did one a long time ago and then i deleted it because why not um also i just took a shower a couple hours ago and my hair is still wet so it's in a ponytail also i'm not wearing a harry potter shirt i'm wearing my justice league shirt and um uh, I'm missing two Harry Potter shirts because they're at my grandma's. One is a Gryffindor shirt, and the other one is my just gray Hogwarts crest thing. I also have my Hogwarts poster, my Harry Potter, like, character poster. I have a Gryffindor poster and another Gryffindor poster. So, fun fact, I'm not a Gryffindor. Um, so, whenever I'm sorted on Pottermore, when I first got into Harry Potter, I decided that I wanted to be a Gryffindor because I'm in Gryffin House at school, so I wanted to be a Gryffindor. So, I, like, looked up the answers to get Gryffindor, and I got Gryffindor. Well, I decided that I'd be take the quiz and just accept whatever house I got into, and I got into Hufflepuff, so I'm a Hufflepuff. Um, and I'm, I'm actually ordering next week a Hufflepuff, the house edition special 20 year anniversary book. Um, they're on Amazon. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually kind of glad I'm ordering that. And then I'm gonna get a new Hufflepuff scarf, and I need a robe. Because, actually, the only reason I have a Gryffindor robe is because I dressed up as Harry Potter one Halloween, and, um, yeah. Okay, so this is in no particular order. There's literally, like, a pile of Harry Potter stuff over here. Um, so yeah, all I'm missing are the posters and the two shirts. I think that's all I'm missing. Oh, I have a pair of Harry's glasses from Halloween and a plastic cheap $10 wand. That was the first one I got. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the movies because it's the first thing that's here. Okay, so we're gonna go through these fast because like, well, I'm okay, actually this disc is broken. This is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is, I guess, I don't know. I looked it up. It's like a special edition. Um, but the disc, we put it in the DVD player and it shattered a piece. You can barely see it, but it shattered a little bit. You can kind of see it and it won't play anymore. Uh, because part of the plastic is gone, but it, it, I, um, I, I also keep it number one from the container and number two because of that. So when I buy a new copy of the disc that's not as old, because this was used at a bookstore once that I went to, um, that's actually we started the collection, um, I'm going to put the disc in this case because I love this case. Like, look at the amazing artwork. I love that artwork. Look at Hedwig. Anyway, and then the back also has um picture. Anyway. Okay, so then I have, uh, the rest I got from a birthday. That's why they all look the same. Okay, I have Chamber of Secrets. This is going to go really fast. There's a mask van. Cup of Fire. Order of the Phoenix. Is that in there? Yeah. Also, I have, um, each of my new discs that I got that were not the other one came with, all my discs have a special feature disc, but all of those are in a separate case thing for, like, multiple discs. Half-Blood Prince. Yeah, I just keep them there because I never used them, and just in case. Uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1. Oh, this is also a fan- Oh! I don't have my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. It's in the car, and I didn't feel like going to get it, so. But that's the only other thing I'm missing. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And then I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, because... Yeah. Um. I don't have a lot of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them merchandise. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm like, hold on. You can't see me. So I'm gonna adjust. That didn't help anything. Okay, that helped nothing. Okay, now on to books. Okay, let me move my wand really fast, hold on. Also, I'm getting a wand. I want to buy one with my allowance next month. A uh, noble collection one. Okay, so I have uh, the Sorcerer's Stone, which I actually, um, I talked to my grandma because I saw them at Target. And dang it, I have a Harry Potter wand pen and a bookmark. Somewhere on my bed, somewhere. I keep thinking of things that I remember. Anyway, um, this was what started the collection with the movie. It's actually really torn up. Uh, I've read through it several times, but anyway, um, I wasn't planning on getting any. Like, I wasn't into Harry Potter, and I read the book, and like, I was like, I have to get the other one. So before I even finished it, I started buying the books, and then I started my Harry Potter shrine collection thing. Fun. Okay, these are not in any kind of order. That's why I'm gonna have to dig. Okay, I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I got them out of order. So, like, my book reports for school were, like, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prison of Azkaban, Order of the Phoenix, Goblet of Fire, Half-Life. It was all out of order. I don't even think I had to turn in the Deathly Hallows. I don't even know. I have Prison of Azkaban, which has been read. 
Um, I have... Some of these have bookmarks in them. Because I was reading a certain page. Um, looking up, like, quotes and stuff. I do that a lot. Goblet of Fire. Um, and then... Grab these two at the same time. I have my Order of the Phoenix. Which has been through a lot. Because it's the one that I continuously read. Because it's the longest. And then I have half Lord Prince. I don't know why I never really got into half prints. Like, I don't know. Okay, so the other two books are ginormous hardcover books. And they don't have covers, and let me tell you why. When I was little, my neighbors were having a garage sale, and I saw this at their house. And I was like, I kind of want those books. Because why not? I never read them. Like, I tried to read through the first page, and I was like, this doesn't make any sense. But that's because these are the last two books. Um, That's probably why it didn't make any sense. Um, so I just kept these books. So I actually never got a paperback of the Deathly Halls, and I don't have the Cursed Child, so. But I have a hardcover of the Half-Blood Prince. So, it's just a hardcover. Um, the book covers are somewhere at my grandma's. I'm not really sure where. Hair all over me. And then this is Deathly Hollows. I like the Half-Blood Prince cover. Anyway. Okay, so now on to everything else. So I have, this was one of the first, like, extra books that I got, and it was the Harry Potter Cinematic Guide. Um, I want to get the other three. They have Ron, Hermione, and Dumbledore, I believe, at Barnes & Noble. And I actually looked through the book before I, like, finished the series. So I went to the back. Now Harry is finally able to destroy Voldemort once and for all. I was like, great, Voldemort dies. But, I mean, that was pretty predictable, and I heard so much about Harry Potter. I have a lot of weird potter head friends okay i need to get the other two books from the hogwarts library but i have quidditch to the ages um i need to get fantastic Beasts to find them and the tales of beal and bard we'll work on that um yeah i need to read through this i haven't exactly read i've been busy reading the other books so it's basically just stuff about quidditch which if i could play it i would um then i have my i love this one it's just a Newt's Command, what is it called? A Newt's Commander movie scrapbook. I actually took out most of the stuff in here and like used it for my wall, but it's got like stuff about each character. There's Jacob. Who doesn't love Jacob? Like comment down below if you hate Jacob, because if you do, like I'm, I'll hate you. Uh, Tina, Newt. So it's got like stuff about the case and like Newt. And then it comes with like, there's like posters you can take out. There's parts of newspapers. It's got, this is my favorite page, all the wands. This is a really long video. Oh, uh, we're only halfway through. Okay, so next, I actually, my aunt got me this. Uh, it's a Gryffindor scarf. This was when I told everyone I was a Gryffindor. So I am going to keep all this because it's Harry Potter. And, I mean, I have Gryffindor friends. So I am going to keep all my Harry Potter merch because it really doesn't matter. Even though I am a Hufflepuff. Okay. I have my Gryffindor hat that I got myself for Christmas. I just like the little fuzzy thing on the top. It's actually a really nice hat. I don't know. I wear it with the scarf and it feels really nice. Okay, I have this lanyard, which I'll show you. It has Harry Potter spells, some Hot Topic. And then I have the Hedwig thing that came with it. It's actually Wonder Woman. Um, it has Harry Potter with a little snitch on it. And then I have, I bought this extra. It's Hogwarts Express. And then it's got a key to something. I don't know what. I'm going to put my locker key on this or my Griffin house lanyard. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so next I have this from Target. I begged to buy this. Um, it's the sticker book. It's Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter. I got this before I saw Fantastic Beasts. So, like, I looked at the Fantastic Beasts stickers and I was like, what? Who are these people? Um, but then I watched it and then I got Harry. The reason I got it was because it's Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. I don't have a lot of stickers. I need to keep buying them. I, like, kind of... I bought, like, seven at a time. Because they have, like... I think they come in, like, four, five packs. Anyway. Off topic. Okay. Not really off topic, actually. Okay. Next, we have my only shirt that I could find. And it is my Gryffindor Quidditch shirt I got for Christmas. Still keeping that. Because it is a nice shirt. So, go over there. Um, here is my cheap Gryffindor robe that I got for ha for Halloween. That was just because I was hairy. So, that's um, interesting. Okay, so over here, I have this really expensive... This is like 25 bucks at Barnes Noble. I got it with my babysitting money for babysitting my sister. So, 
It's t it's cute. It's hairy, except his head weighs like more than his body, so like he sits and then doesn't work. Wow, this is a really long video. Okay, um, next I have this, which I covered in tape. It is the Harry Potter wand with illuminating tip, and it is just Harry's wand, and it has a little key thing on it here, and you just turn it on, and you can, like, change the setting and stuff. I will do a separate video reviewing this, because it's actually pretty cool. I didn't want to buy it, but I watched reviews on it, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool, so I'm glad I got it. That Christmas money, by the way. Thank you to the person who got me that. Um... I'll show you my mugs next. I have my Gryffindor mug that I got from uh, Think Geek. Just has the logo and it's like the uniform. It's actually dirty because I had like cream in it. I don't know. I have a Keurig and I have these for my Keurig. Um, over here I have... No, oh, that's my necklace. I have this. Uh, if you don't get my Harry Potter references, there's something seriously wrong with you. It's like really oily. I think it was sitting next to something. Ew. Okay, it's going to go over there. I need to clean it. There's, they've just been sitting up on a shelf. Over here, there's actually a shelf, and I'm gonna make it all Harry Potter. With, like, lights and stuff. It's gonna look cool. Okay, next, I have my Harry Potter trivia game, which I actually, um, don't have the, the lid is on my bed. I need to get it. But it's the, like, trivia game that I can crush my family up because, um, they don't know their Harry Potter stuff. No offense. Um, next, I have my Funkos and my, like, mini pops and then my neck. So, we're gonna finish this. My sister's screaming at me for some reason. So, this Harry has actually gotten broken. So, I need to buy a new Harry. But his glasses fell off and his wand broke. So, I think I got him from Target. But this is from Order of the Phoenix. Because he's got the little thingy in his hand. I forget what they're called. What are they called? I don't remember. Okay, and then this is like my favorite thing ever. It's Ron in the Goblet of Fire uh, with his dress robes. For some reason, it makes me think of like thanksgiving and like someone with like a turkey thing on i don't know why but it does that outfit is so detailed i love it this is probably one of my favorite funkos um and then i have these two which i actually got on the same day but from two separate stores so i got george from um <laughs> you didn't know fred is actually my favorite character but i got george from hot topic i think yeah i got him with the lanyard and then i got fred at barnes noble just dropped Fred. I'm so sorry. He fell on my fingers, so I, I was in pain too. And I think these are both from Order of the Phoenix because um, he's got the little boxes of like all the stuff they were selling. Uh, and then he's got the suitcase, briefcase, whatever. They're actually different sizes, which is weird. Like, do you see the size difference? It's weird. Anyway, so now my mini little thingies are uh, the like blind packs you get at like I think I got it at Barnes and Noble. I don't keep track. By the way, I'm really mad at our Barnes and Noble because they moved all their Harry Potter stuff. So like there's no Harry Potter stuff anymore and I get really mad. And then we went to another Barnes and Noble and their Harry Potter stuff is like hidden in the back. So I like look for it. That's when I got the plush. But I have Harry and his little Quidditch. He's so freaking adorable. Look, you can see the scar. But look. It's so detailed. And then I have um Hermione. I need to get Hermione in like a Funko form. Um she's pretty cute here it's not wanting to focus there you go her robes are really detailed these things are so detailed for like the size and then um i actually got this from amazon um it's a snitch necklace i wear i wore it through my sleeping beauty play that we did at school and um it actually because i was um one of the goons that works for maleficent and it actually fell out during one of the numbers so that's fun um, my head off, my head also fell off. That's another story. My wrist is really itchy. I think I got something on it. But anyway, um, this is actually my Willy Wonka necklace thing, but my Willy Wonka necklace I never wear, so I changed it out with the snitch. Uh, so yeah, it's just the snitch. Like, it's not that interesting. The chain was super cheap and it actually broke. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very, very long video. Um, I will do a separate reviews on the wand and more details on the Newt Scamander book. But yeah, and then I want to get an actual wand at the end of this month. Comment down below what wand. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this very long video and yeah, bye guys.